A24. Does that combination of letters and numbers mean anything to you? What about this interface? This scene? Or this one? A24 is the movie studio that created films like Midsummer, Hereditary, Lady Bird, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. They have a very distinct style and energy that sets them apart from other movies and makes an A24 film very recognizable. Their style is hard to explain in just words, but they tend to have a very dramatic use of lighting and colors and striking cinematography that you might not see in basic box office films. On top of these elements, the contents of A24 films commonly push boundaries for what is expected, and they carry very intense themes. They are known to give directors and filmmakers extreme creative freedom, which shows in the genuine artistic value of their movies. Rather than trying to make the most money, A24 picks and supports films that fit their vision and actually only really advertise through social media. Since then, they've received dozens of Academy Awards, notably Everything Everywhere All at Once, which received massive audiences and won Best Picture in 2022 at the Oscars. They've kickstarted a lot of fruitful careers for directors like Greta Gerwig, Bo Burnham, Robert Eggers, Daniel Kwan, and Ari Aster. Ari Aster is my personal favorite director, making only three films in his career and becoming an immediate success since he started. His very twisted mind is responsible for Hereditary, Midsummer, and Bo is Afraid, each becoming more insane than the next. These movies were known for breaking horror stereotypes and bringing the genre to new heights that people were neither expecting nor ready for. These started the concept of elevated horror, and it seems that a lot of horror films since then try to achieve the same feel, usually to no avail. A24 as a whole puts out about 20 films a year, all with different genres and people behind them. This is significantly more than literally any major production company, and their films are still very highly rated in comparison. They have their own merch of pretty much anything you could think of from fashion to real movie props, and seem to be making their way from a studio to more of a phenomenon. A24 films may not be for everyone, but they have a genuine fanbase of people that follow what they do, turning their successes into genuine cult classics. Take a look at Letterboxd and see if anything interests you. I guarantee they have something for everyone in one way or another.